I'm Sue Cranmer. I work at Future Lab as the principal researcher. I'm at the moment mainly working on two projects, both of which are based around Future's work and the idea of enhancing classrooms. Pedagogical 3.0 is focused on the idea that we need to be thinking about how we improve the teaching of STEM teachers, beginner teachers, uh, particularly through their early years and their induction. So it's right through from pre-service through to their early years. What often happens is that they're very well prepared within initial teacher training courses, but then when they meet the culture of the school, it's very difficult to maintain some of the good intentions that they have about using technology. And in a lot of ways, the support that we can bring to that is by helping them to network with other teachers and to try and hang on to those practices when they reach the school. A couple of projects which I think are further down the road in terms of what they're producing, uh, there's the Escapes project at Bristol University where they are um, supporting beginner teachers to make short films with their students which demonstrate scientific concepts. And this is a marvellous idea because it immerses both students and um, the beginner teachers in skills such as researching and broadcasting and media production and so on. Um, and I think it, it, it takes them to a deeper level of understanding. Trying to explain something and put it onto film is actually a very good way of making sure that you understand something yourself. Um, another one is the Learning Games Network who are based in Boston and they're using games design to teach about challenge based learning right through from the design of a game through to post production. Um, another one which I think is quite striking is the um, grant being given to one of our partners in Kenya and the group there are working with Southern California and with India and they're actually, it's a, a kind of knowledge exchange where um, the colleagues in the other universities are helping those in Kenya to train their teachers in how to use problem-based learning. I'd like to think it was a combination of both. I think um, it's really interesting. The, the level of understanding that you have to get to to explain something and to film it, I think is very useful for both the uh, beginner teacher and the student. But it would be nice to think that those videos online would actually help other students to understand those concepts. In the past, most of my experience has been in the area of informal learning. Um, I carried out a PhD which was looking at how children and adults learn within the home using technology. And this in a lot of ways is an extension because um, as a lot of us understand now, there's a really big emerging gap between what children are doing at home with technology and the fact that it often stops at the school door. And whilst you know a lot of young people are doing fairly well within the, the current system, they may not be doing as well as they could if they had access to these technologies which they seem to love so much and use so much at home. And also um, those, there are a lot of youngsters who are becoming disengaged with school and I think technology may be one of the ways that uh, we could seek to re-engage them, particularly around good teaching. I'm not saying put technology in a classroom and it, it just um, will immediately improve things. I think it's about good teaching and I think technology is a tool but I, I think it's more than that. I think within technology there are implicit affordances which can actually really enhance teaching.